Welcome here. Today is a video unlike anything else I've ever made. It's a laser and I'm a blacksmith. How does that work? But I'm not a traditionalist, right? And I've had this idea in my mind to try to sort of merge these two worlds together because I have a project coming up that I, oh, I just want to tell you so much what's going on with that project, but I can't. I'm going to save it. A laser might embed into this project well. One avenue is to use the laser to go into work that I could never do without it, and the other one is to help fortify the work that I'm currently doing by tool development, tool making. I'm just on the verge of the next series for the Black Hawk Hatchet and Black Hawk Axe, which is gonna be from 1900 train rail. I gotta remake the stamps to put that date into it, and I'm hoping that I can use this fiber laser to do that. That's a big intro. Is that an intro? I don't know. Let me show you what's going on here. This is Ohmtech's Mopa Fiber Laser 80 Watt. I reached out to Ohmtech and asked them if they'd be willing to entertain the ideas that I had with their laser, and they were gracious enough to say yes. They gave me the laser with the expectation that I'm gonna push it to the maximum with some creative ideas. So I got some boots to fill. The fiber laser has no visible moving parts. It's all within the head, and so it's actually quite a small compact unit. You have your table with holes that you can put fixtures or mount your parts to. You focus this unit manually with the crank on the top. You have these honking huge lenses that look very cool. You have the computer, the brains of the unit in this box, and then you just hook it up to your computer. Just before we can start cutting here, I gotta calibrate the lens, which you just run this little test, measure it, and then get everything dialed in crispy. With the new lens, when you cut with it, it bulges because of the way the lens is. I don't really know how to scientifically explain it, but this is what happens to a square when you cut it, it's all bulgy. So you gotta dial it in and tune it to get cutting a square. So this is all the tests. Took a bit. So what I'm thinking about is um, maybe a cool option would be to, to engrave like names on the ax handles. So this is a piece of hickory here, and we're just gonna, uh, who knows what's gonna happen here? It might burn up in flames or, I don't know. So it burned it a little bit more. How deep is that? This one's not working. So I just threw some oil on there cause I thought it'd be pretty handy if the ax was actually all finished and I could do this. We'll see how that interacts with the laser here. Oh man, that works so good. That works so good. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one more pass just to see what happens. Um, that's what it looks like there. Here we go. It looks pretty good. Um, so that's what that looks like. I would like to do some more testing before I'd be comfortable to offer that as an option. But what do you think about an option for the ax? And would that make sense to put it there? I think it would, right? So that would be pretty heavily branded, but I mean, it'd be so cool if this was your ax with your name on it, right? I like that. I like that idea. Okay, let's keep going to the next thing. Let's try cutting steel now, or engraving steel. Uh, I gotta set up some parameters. I have no idea what these gotta be, so we're gonna just do some tests. Hopefully we can figure this out and try making a punch. That took a very long time to do this, so now, I've got the file built. We're gonna try making a stamp here. Uh, set up here, I put a piece of steel underneath here in case the laser spills off the edge or something. Won't hit the table, so.
That's uh, five and a half hours to burn that. <laughs> I don't know if my parameters are maybe not ideal. Wow, that's way too hot to touch. This has worked out so cool and so well. The, the only thing that didn't work out is the edge here. That wasn't supposed to be there. And I think I just need to make it so that the laser just kind of spills off the edge a little bit. Probably burn that out. So I'll do that future, but the settings with the, for making the stamp were really good because these are beveled edges in here. It's really incredible, honestly. Let's see how it works. Got this all mounted up. It's just a scrap hammer. We'll see it. Uh, I haven't heat treated this, but I think it'll be okay. Check that out. That is so, so cool. It worked so good. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. What a cool asset to have available. Wow. So remember, um, keep the Forge Lit logo that I made with Colin? I have this one 1912 hammer left. This is a three pound straight peen. Wouldn't it be something cool to see if we could engrave in here, keep the forge lit logo. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I thought, man, I wanna play with this. So that's what we're gonna kind of set up to start messing around with. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna make a template that will be the outline of the hammer and then we can put the graphics inside of it. So we're finished up here, and I'm gonna go clean it up on the wire wheel and we'll see what it looks like. It's fascinating how subtle it's become. I'm trying to get an angle here. I maybe should have actually done it deeper. Yeah, that's so cool. Just because we're playing, I'm gonna take a little bit of gun blue and see if we can just dab it into the cracks and then wire wheel at the top just to give that contrast. We'll see if it works though. Don't really want to go past the edges here. I couldn't get it to highlight. So that didn't work out. I'm trying to decide, I kind of actually want it deeper. Like it's very nice, but it is hard to see. Do you think I could get this lined up again to come back in and get it deeper? So this is it redone deeper and it looks so cool. I don't know if it looks like this on camera, but the texture that the laser leaves in the groove, it looks very similar to this forged finish out here. So it, it kind of looks like it was stamped in and it worked out pretty, pretty smoking good around the edges. To go into that shape of the hammer, you could still see some of the forged Deep, deep crevices right in the center there. I think that's okay though, I don't mind it. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's fun, I like that. I like it that it's like more subtle than that typical laser engraved sort of styles. You see the high gloss with the high contrast black kind of burning look. It's just a lot more subtle, but it's definitely there. It feels like it's kind of like part of the hammer, which is good, I want that. Hammer is available 
on the website. So if you want that, it's a one-off, one of one, the last one. If you want it, take a look, it's on the website. It's gonna be fun to see what I think about this laser as I continue to use it and projects and ways to, to use it. It'll be, it'll be great. I'm looking forward to it. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. I truly mean that. And until then, keep the forge lit, hey?